Well, the Oklahoma Aquarium was actually an idea first in 1984, quite a long time ago, by two boyhood friends who were from this area. We thought, wouldn't it be neat if the Tulsa area had a world-class aquarium? Well, it took several years for them to get that idea off the ground and rolling. And finally, in 2003, the aquarium opened its doors to the public, and we've done nothing but grow ever since. The Oklahoma Aquarium may seem a little out of place in landlocked Oklahoma, but here you quickly forget that you're not near the ocean. You can visit a coral reef and admire the brightly colored reef dwellers without getting on a plane. It's definitely the only place in the region where you can actually pet a stingray or see a pot-bellied seahorse. You could find yourself staring at these fascinating creatures for a long time. And then there's the aquarium's most popular exhibit, the amazing shark tank, where you can almost become a part of the exhibit as these monsters swim around you. We have four different species of sharks in this main exhibit. Uh, these are the largest sharks. We have the largest bull sharks in captivity, which are a very threatening shark to man. And so they're really fascinating to watch. We have lemon sharks. We also have nurse sharks, which are the ones sitting on the bottom that look like giant catfish. And we have sand tigers, which have the real big snarly teeth. Which can really make you grateful for the glass, even though the sand tiger is not known as a man-eater. You can also come face to face with Oklahoma's own aquatic species. The red-eared slider turtles can be just as fascinating as stingrays to a child. And seeing what swims beneath the surface of Oklahoma's waterways can bring you a whole new appreciation for the lake or the river. One of the most popular exhibits involves water-dwelling mammals. The otters put on quite an entertaining show as they glide and dunk. The beaver, or, well, they're a little slower, but still fun. The Oklahoma Aquarium is as much research facility and classroom as entertainment. And the message is that water is important to all of us, not just the oceans. I think it's very important that people realize fresh water is an extremely important component of protecting the planet. More than 70% of Earth is covered by water. So there's more water space that you can see than land. So if you don't protect the blue, you're not protecting the green.